Hello, my sweet, beautiful fairies. It's your boy, Freaky, here. And since the world is filled with awkward conversations, here's another one, like an extension from the last video, so we're gonna make it a part two. Anyway, some history. Back when I was in, like, my first year of high school, I used to, like, sit around the fountain and, and just wait for my ride to come pick me up, you know, I never hung out with friends. And there always used to be these seniors who always used to sit there and they used to be talking about attacking girls, okay? And this, like, really caught my attention because I was like, wait, what? You guys are, like, literally thinking of attacking girls? But it turns out they were just saying that word because, like, they wanted to go ask them out and stuff. And this always just caught my attention. And I don't think they ever realized I was listening in. I never made it obvious, though. So, yeah. But, you know, like, still, the word, attack. Because, like, it, it gave me so much courage. I mean, like, I used to use the word in everything. Let's say I was, like, saying a speech in class. I'd be like, all right, let's attack this speech. Let's attack these people. And it boosted my confidence, made me do a bit well. Anyway, like, it was so awesome. I mean, I turned from a boy to a, to a freaking lion. Anyway, days later, and uh, uh, it was break. And I was just chilling by myself in class. You know, I had no friends. And I realized there was someone else sitting right next to me, okay? And I looked. And then I took a double take just to make sure I wasn't imagining things. And the first word that hit me, you wanna guess? Yeah. ATTACK! Right, that word hit me like a storm, okay? So, I looked around, made sure there was no one around, okay? We're safe. Um, no one to see the embarrassing moment I was just about to make. Okay. Took a few minutes to compose myself. Took a few deep breaths. Thought about what I was gonna say. Made sure my voice didn't come out all squeaky. And I'm like, okay, fine. We can do this. Alright. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Boom! Right, I was in beast mode. I was in full-on beast mode, okay? But then what I didn't realize, right, is that while I was in beast mode, I could not see that she had ear sets on, okay? And since she had ear sets on, she couldn't hear me, but I didn't know that at the time, okay? So, basically, I was basically just getting pumped up for nothing, but, okay, I was like, hmm. I didn't notice at the time, and, oh my god, I feel so stupid. Alright, anyway. So I was like, hey, and she didn't hear me, you know, since she had ear sets on. And this, like, put me out of beast mode completely. But anyway, I was like, okay, um, maybe she just didn't hear me, or, like, maybe my voice didn't come out loud enough. Or I just said it in my head. And I was like, alright, let's get back into beast mode. <clears throat> alright, beast mode. I took a deep breath, and I was like, hey! This time, she heard me. And she was pissed, okay? Like, she put on the most annoyed face I have ever seen on another human being. She took off her ear sets and then she was like, what? Her voice took me from beast mode to kitty mode in 0.3 seconds, okay? It was real quick. So, since I was in kitty mode, I just like, um, do you know what the time is? And she was like, yeah, it's like 10.30. And I was like, oh, cool. I turned my head and I looked out of the window, looked at the birds, looked at the trees, looked at all my confidence flying with the birds, my dignity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this ended up being like one of the most awkward situations in my life. And the funny thing is that afterwards this girl and I, we actually became friends and she does not remember this. <laughs> Um, but that's the story for another video, and I hope, hopefully, I'll make it pretty soon. Okay, I hope you freaks stay safe, and yeah, that's it. Later, guys.